eine Statue der Sieben zu berühren. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Das ist alles Paimon zu wissen zu verdanken. It's nothing really. Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey and many things have happened along the way. Somehow he just naturally learned to use the elements through it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Endlich ein echter Kampf. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? Oh. Off we go. Wind blade. Odd reveal. I must leave no stone unturned. As you wish, main Fräulein. Fail subordinate to... No rest for the wicked. Wind blade. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Danke dir, ich werde das nicht, ich werde nicht. Save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influence is the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. Ich tappe in der Dun in der Tat im Dunkeln, also erklär mir mal bitte was. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, supposing each of the seven archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, 
She is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Mm hmm oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? Ich bin mir nicht sicher. With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Uh, very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Oh, why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged! Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile. And the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Lyra's traveling hero! Wow! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed his thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. Sure. As for our other combatant... Uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. Was I just saying, is it so a story about the final? I've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. Kiana. Let me see. It's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist, I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Gerne. Äh, scheint, als können wir nichts anderes tun. Mein Gegner ist sowieso nicht aufgetaucht. Um, but we're on an island. Where could he possibly run to? Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Bro, es ist 24-7 high, Alter. Ich vergesse die ganze Zeit, dass das nicht der Wanderer ist. The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ride the winds upward. From there we can continue our search for clues. Think of checking the prize. 
nice in the first place. I heard it the moment it was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll see shortly. Huh? Teamwork is dreamwork. Windblade. By Royal De <sighs> Let's light it up. Also. Nach dem Kampf zeige ich euch mal was. From so, in zwei Tagen, zwei Tagen, zwei Stunden und elf Minuten, kommt der, kommen die nächsten zwei Banner raus von 4.0. Und äh, das wären dann ähm, Songli und Child, die beide rauskommen würden. Und ich glaube, es wäre wirklich bei diesem Account wirklich sinnvoll, einfach auf, äh, auf Songli zu gehen. Erstmal. Er hat, ein, er hat ein starkes Schild und mit einem starken Schild können wir deutlich mehr machen, als, als wir jetzt äh, haben. Und ich könnte dann rein theoretisch auch Ich könnte dann sozusagen für mein Team ähm, sie und ihn hier komplett entfernen eigentlich. Ihn, weil ich dann die Heals nicht mehr brauche. Ja, vielleicht am Anfang noch. Am Anfang noch bis äh, bis Dongli, keine Ahnung, so 30.000, 40.000 äh, LP hat. Äh, dann kann er aber auch gehen. Und dann, keine Ahnung, dann müssen wir uns noch ein DPS suchen. Ich habe ja jetzt so. Äh, ich habe ein paar Charaktere, die wir hier haben könnten. Ähm, keine Ahnung, was haben wir denn als DPS? Uh, wir haben Lynette, das kennen wir hier DPS, wir haben Tanari, mag nicht so gerne. Wir haben halt nicht wirklich DPS, ne? Keine Ahnung, eine Catching oder einen D-Look oder... Keine Ahnung. Ja, auf meinem Männerkonto spiele ich ja, das äh, spiele ich momentan das Team Wanderer. Äh, Raiden. Ne. Wanderer, nah Nahida, Raiden, Songli. Songli wegen Schild, Raiden wegen der Elektro-Application, äh, Nahida, Nahida wegen äh, Dendro, einfach weil Dendro stark ist und Wanderer, weil eine, ein schwerer Angriff und dann fast 10. Fast 10 Sekunden einfach fast 10 Sekunden einfach nur durchballern. Ja, und das ist der Grund, warum ich auf äh, Mute spiele auf einen anderen Account. Ja, keine Ahnung. Na gut. Dann machen wir mal weiter.